वे गीता की बात करें और उसके बाद दिवसीय थॉट महाभारत में ऑल दी कैरेक्टर्स लाइक दुर्योधन और बैड बैड गाइस दे आर इन साइड दे आर नॉट आउट दोज आर दी नेम पर दे आर विद विद इन लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड ऑल दी पांडवस दे आर आल्सो इन साइड and so we will go in that direction bhagavad gita was emanated from the lotus leaves of lotus approximately about 5000 years before in the battle field of kurukshetra in punjab in india there are 700 verses in bhagavad gita divided into 18 chapters There are three schools of thought. The first six chapters, they are the karma yoga, broadly speaking. Seven to twelve is the bhakti yoga, the yoga of devotion. And the thirteen to eighteen, that is jnana yoga, yoga of knowledge. In the world, there are three types of yoga: introverted, extroverted, and the balanced. So, for people who are extroverted, for them karma yoga is the best. People who are introverted, emotional, for them bhakti is the best. And people who are intellectual, for them jnan yoga, yoga of knowledge. Bhagavad Gita is a science of mind, mind, and mind is the king of your body. Mind controls the body. Body does not control the mind. And Bhagavad Gita provides you enough information, techniques, tools, how to get the maximum juice out of your mind so that your body is okay. Our body is made up of five gross elements. And at the top of that five gross elements, there are three subtle elements. The gross elements are fire, water, earth, air, and sky. Ether, akash. At the top of them is the mind, intellect, and ego. Man, buddhi, or anka. And at the top of that is the soul, atma, which is the integral part of the Almighty. So this is what we are. As long as that's it. That's it. So can we? So as long as we are connected to the ninth source of our body, which is the Atma, so we are okay. Because then. Part of the body does not make any mistake. That part, part of the body, has no ill feeling of for anybody. Goodwill for all, ill will for none. That is the function of the ninth part of your body, which is Atma. Anything less than that, we are in trouble. We have to manage it. So the whole mission of life is. Trying to connect to the ninth source because that's the integral part of the Almighty, and then you get the direct information, and you already have those faculties and qualifications to become the best human being. Otherwise, we suffer. We are using, misusing, and abusing our memory. किसी ने कोई बात हमें टेन साल पहले कह दिया वी नेवर फो गेट दैट इज कॉल्ड द मिस यूज एंड अब्यूज ऑफ मेमरी मेमरी शुड बी फ्रेंड्स लाइक इट वॉज लेट इट गो द मोर यू होल्ड द मोर यू सो एंड दैट इज हाउ द लाइफ शुड बी लिव द 
that your mind should be open. The window of your mind should be open. So fresh will come, fresh ideas come. Receptivity, those are the indication, the litmus test of your personality. How much the receptive you are to the newness. Otherwise, you are stagnation. And today, there was a class, you attended this class, cancer. It's a very dangerous world. The moment you go to doctor, and if he did certain tests, and he comes back out of reserves, and he used this word, sir, this is the thing. The moment he used the word cancer, we are terrified. But there is a spiritual cancer also. Emotional cancer also. Nobody talks about that. They are all talking about the physical. Physical. But there is emotional cancer. Emotional cancer is that we are suffering from the toxic thinking of our the way we think. We never let it go. We totally forget the goodness of others. Many after that, we are very good. We have a very good thing. We have a very good thing. You totally forget my 20 years, you just clean it up. And you tell me you are used. You did this to me. And at that time, you totally erase the goodness of the individual who did so much good to you. And that is a toxic way. And that is a cancer. Spiritual cancer. So, the idea of Bhagavad Gita is to make the awareness, to bring the awareness to people at their own level, because there are different levels of understanding. The more we understand how the emotional aspect of our existence works, the more we are nearer to the ninth gate of heaven, which is the Atma. So today's topic I wanted to share with you that in Kurukshetra, historically there was a battle, Mahabharata. It was fought for 18 days. And there are 18 chapters in Bhagavad Gita. 18 has a very special meaning in spiritual terms. It is 8 and 1 and 8. If you add it, it becomes 9. And I explained to you that we are an epitome of the number 9. 5 gross elements, 3 subtle elements. Nine is the Atma. So, nine. Eight number. Eight. They are changeable. In this world in which we live, this whole creation, it is changing. Changing every given moment with the speed of light. Our cells are changing. Abhi aap class data, sona bhi aap doctors. Our cells are changing. Dying, rewarding. Every moment. So our body is changing. Everything else is changing. The whole creation is changing. So these eight elements with which our body is made of, they are subject to change. So, childhood is gone. Childhood is gone. So, childhood, we were child, that is gone, because we have changed. Youth, we were all young, it is gone, we have changed. Because the outer frame is changed. If you want to show your album, you will say that this is what we are saying. But we are not that. We are telling our lives. All that time has gone and we are still holding it. People who are holding the past in whatever name and shape, they are emotionally paying very heavy price. Because you are not that. Why are you carrying the album of your life which you are not now? So that is the eternal message of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is live in the past, 
दैट इज द सीक्रेट मंत्रा और भगवत गीता दिस विल बी प्रेजेंट तो प्रेजेंट में कहा कैसे रहा जाए पता तो है हमें एंड अंटिल यू थ्रो अवे द एल्बम ऑफ योर लाइफ विच इज द बेस्ट होल्ड द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ इट एंड लेट द ऑल बैड things happen in your life let it go then you are living in the present now present means no you will not be subject to change because if you are living in the present moment you will never change if there is water flowing in the river and you fix your gaze at one point so the water is moving your gaze is fixed at certain point so you are looking at the fresh water all the time if you move then it is it does not work but if you are looking at the same point the water is flowing at any given time you are looking at the fresh water zindagi as it is people who develop this art to live in the present they have a better sleep they sleep like a child they put off the light and they go to sleep like a baby people who do not understand this concept they suffer and they take a lot of medication just to sleep sleep apnea it is there right people don't sleep and then what we do on a daily basis din se jab uthe hum रात तक आपने किया क्या है हाउ वी आर मैनेजिंग अवर टाइम भगवत गीता इज ए टाइम मैनेजमेंट टाइम मैनेजमेंट पीपल हु अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट हाउ टू मैनेज द डे सो दैट यू शुड स्लीप इफ आई एम मैसिंग अप द टाइम मैनेजमेंट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस i will be deprived of my sleep and when you don't sleep it is open and invitation to the diseases all types of diseases one after the other so time management bhagavad gita the wisdom here that think what is the objective of life why we are here i should be very clear you should be very clear our mission on this planet because this planet is just a visit you are just visiting it for some time we say 80 years 100 years 70 years but this is a small number if you go beyond 200 miles in the space you start talking light years light years. If you want to tell me the distance between Mars and the Sun, you cannot tell me in miles. You have to speak the language, different language, light years away, light years away. Where your hundred years or my hundred years fit into light years? No, it's just a speck. Speck. But even we feel like that. The body is not like that. It is not like that. because our can we are conditioned to think differently and bhagavad gita challenge you to recondition your mind and think differently think differently means first of all i have to profoundly start believing that this day is very temporary and what are my accomplishments are one day it will be big zero but we know but we don't believe this all of our daily routine all of our accomplishments the way we have been living and the way we will be living and the way we are living it is not fine tuned to this concept that everything will be zero out all your wealth health beauty possessions cars bangalore परिवार ब्रदर सिस्टर वाइफ हस्बैंड दे ऑल 
not disappear. One by one by one. In our lifetime, we go to cremation hundreds of times. Both alive, both alive, both alive. And when we are in the cremation ground, we are looking that this is, he was my best friend. And people give ex and poor speeches also. But then they forget that the same people will put me here also one day. And I will be watching them. As long as we are there, we are okay. We have that thought, that life. Log vaha baat karte hain, ki life mein kya pada hai, kuch bhi nahi hai, aise hi hai, bho sa hai, aise hi hai. But the moment it's come and sit in the car, it is a total different way of thinking. You totally forget. And we have been doing that. We, we are so close to the reality. But then, we totally forget. We adjust our thinking. This may office or office that I have, this may sabji le ne aya ta, sabji le ne ta ta. This is school ja, school ja. We totally forget. Then this is the way we are living. Day in, day out. And we grow, we become old, and then we disappear. Life is not like that. There are 8.4 million evolutions. Churasi law is jonia. Human form is the apex point of 8.4 million. This is over much more. So, Churasi like evolution is over. We are here. Then we say that the human being is very strong. He 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 is very strong. Next time you have a car, nobody knows. There is no guarantee. But Bhagavad Gita gives you divine assurance that wait a minute. This is a better way of living. And live that way and Lord Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, they give you divine warranty that if you live this way as I am dictating to you, I will take care of your further journey. Because this is a temporary thing. This is very temporary. It is just like bus kahi aapne kahi jana hai, to bus kahi ruki hui hai. To ye bus hamari zindagi thodi thodi de ruki hui hai. And then the bus will move and everything will stay. Right? Hume pata hai is cheez ka. Lekin hum believe nahi karte. I am okay, I am okay, I am okay. And that's his need. But Bhagavad Gita gives this insight that this is the best way. Adjust your thinking. Adjust your thinking. And you are okay. So today's topic was that in Mahabharata, there are all the big characters like Duryodhan, Vishampatama, Karan, right? and Dhridrashtra, five partners, Lord Krishna. Bhagavad Gita says they are all inside. So Mahatma Gandhi, who is the champion of non-violence, he never believed that there was such a huge killing in Kurukshetra. He said, this is symbolic. The war is inside. Korvas are inside. Padvas are inside. Lord Krishna is inside. So, at any given time, we are fighting this Mahabharata inside. We have good thoughts, we have bad thoughts. Bad thoughts are more Good thoughts are little. You do some charitable work once a while. Most of the time we are selfish. Selfish qualities are karma. The more selfish I am, the more anger is there. The more selfish I am, the 
the more hurting I am hurting people with my speech, with my words, physically, emotionally, mentally, I am hurting people because I am selfish. Secondly, <coughs> the wrong understanding. The best part of Bhagavad Gita is that we are all one. We are all one. We are all one. हमें ये दिखाई नहीं देता और जितनी देर हमारी ये 2020 स्पिरिचुअल आई सेट नहीं होती लोग डिफरेंट दिखाई देंगे व्हेन यू आर डिफरेंट देन मी देन इट्स ए प्रॉब्लम बट इफ आई से यू आर माय रिफ्लेक्शन यू आर माय एक्सटेंशन तो मैं जैसे अपना ख्याल रखता हूँ मैं आपका भी रखूँ Because you are my extension. अब घर की extension करते हो, तो घर बड़ा हो जाता है। So if you are my extension, now I am bigger. So in selfless attitude of mind, you expand. You expand. जो आपने extend किया है। When you expand, you become broader. When you become broader. You levitate. You levitate. Because goodness is contagious. The more goodness you spread, the more it comes back. The other day somebody gave a very good example. I think he took this paper. And now how many corners are there? Four. Four. So if I cut here, how many it becomes? Six. Yeah. Right? So if I cut here, if I cut here, I will give you. So in this in this case, how many corners are there? Six. Six. Okay. If I cut here, I will give you. So how many corners are there? Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 One more. The more I cut, the more it becomes. Life is like that. The more you give, the more you expand, the more you get, the more you get. That is the concept, conclusion of Bhagavad Gita. So all these characters, like when we are very selfish, we are the Duryodhan, Duryodhan who is the epitome of hate and selfishness. उसको कोई चीज अच्छी नहीं लगती सारा उसका कैरेक्टर देखो ही इज ऑलवेज अगेंस्ट पॉन्डवर्स ही इज बॉइलिंग ही इज सो टॉक्सिक उसकी टॉक भी बड़ी टॉक्सिक है एंड वी डू दो थिंग्स आल्सो व्हेन वी हर्ट पीपल चाहे वो वाइफ हो चाहे वो हस्बैंड हो ब्रदर हो सिस्टर हो बेस्ट फ्रेंड हो when we are in that state of mind, Duryodhana state of mind, we act just like Duryodhana. Duryodhana is a name. It is just a name in Mahabharata. But actually we are talking about the state of mind. The person when in that state of mind, he does those things what Duryodhana is doing. Even Lord Krishna, जिसको हम भगवान कहते हैं, भगवान भी उसको समझा रहे हैं कि don't do like that. So भगवान is here, Lord Krishna is here. I just explained to you that is the ninth element of your body, आत्मा. आत्मा के रूप में वो हमें समझाते हैं, but don't do that. जैसे दुर्योधन नहीं समझ रहा महाभारत में Lord Krishna की बात को, ऐसे हम भी नहीं समझ and we continue to fight. We continue to fight for no reason. And we suffer. Duryodhana was the whole, in his whole life span, he was never peaceful. He was agitated, excited. And his company was there. His mother was there. And his brothers, 
Dushasana and all that stuff. He gets that type of company also, who promotes that evilness. Look at the drug dealers. Drug dealers, they have a very close circuit. Who never tell that guy that you are doing bad thing. They are promoting him. They are selling his product. They are protecting him, just like Viryodhan. So, what should we do if the Yodhan is inside us? How to subdue that negative energy? It is the name of the energy, it is not a person. So, negative energy in the form of Yodhan, how it can be subdued? It can be subdued with awareness. With awareness. And the awareness is that connect yourself to the ninth element and that positive energy of Lord Krishna will be on your side and you will subdue that negative emotion. Otherwise that emotion expands and it never lets you diminish in any form and shape. So the objective of my life is that if I want to be spiritual, I have to subdue this Duryodhan energy, which is the negative energy, which is jealousy. Jealousy. When we are jealous, we are blind. We forget the blessings which we have, but we remember the blessings of others. Uske paas ye hai. Aapke paas kaar hai. Uske kaar thodi si badi hai. You are not enjoying your car. You are more worried about his car. This is the Yodhan energy. So whatever you have, blessing, everybody has. But people who don't understand this concept, this is called energy of Yodhan, jealousy. Okay, whatever blessing you have, you don't appreciate that. But whatever others have, you are worried about that. And in that process, you are totally destroyed emotionally. You are already upset, upside down. And you will be deprived of your, your diet. Your digestive system will not work if emotionally you are disturbed. best food Look at it. What happened? What happened? You have the same organs. No one touched your digestive system. But bhojan is best. But when the other way around also, when you are in a good mood, positive mood, you have a dam like that. Like this, that is all. So food is related to your emotions. Emotions. If you have your digestive system, that whatever I it should be equitably distributed in the system. Then emotionally stay balanced. Stay connected to the ninth source. Mind, our mind, which is the leader of our body. It is the mind of our body. Everybody says that. Mind ko control karne ka ek hi way hai. Connect yourself to the ninth source. Then everybody, everything will be subdued. Otherwise, there are many ways and techniques and tools available in order to do that thing in a different way, like meditation. Meditation is a discipline of mind. Yoga. Meditation is a part of yoga. Like, there are two parts of meditation. Radha Yoga and Hatha Yoga. Hatha Yoga is the external body. body. Whatever you do, asana, that other thing, your outer frame in which we live, will become very flexible, strong, and demanding. 
Hatay yoga is the science of mind, which is meditation. That is called Raja Yoga. That is the science of mind. And Patanjali came up with eight steps. Yam, Niyam, Asana, Pranayam, Pratyahara, Dharma, Dhyana, Samadhi. So those are the eight steps of meditation, which is the Raja Yoga. The other is Asanas, Suryasana, different types of Asanas to make your body very flexible. And the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita is that we are not the bodies, we are living in the body. So I have to adjust this also. We spend so much time, so much resources, 90% resources are spent on the outer frame. On yogi, yoga, gym, swimming, do many other things, exercise. That all relate to the outer frame. In that emotionally we don't do certain things. Emotionally we are totally destroyed. Aapko mene ek chiz abhi mein kehta hoon. To aapko gusa aajega. Do minute mein baad aapko mein kuch aise chiz kahun ga. Aap khosh ho jaoge. So my speech is controlling you. People will be controlling you. So people who are very efficient in lip sympathy. They mean nothing. They just give you lip sympathy. Flattery is okay. You become happy. And there are people who always criticize you. It could be your wife. It could be your brother. It could be your mama. They always criticize you. Doesn't matter what you do. Oh, you have to do this. What will happen? They will criticize you. That is what they are. And then you are unhappy. So people's words are controlling you. So that means emotionally you are not strong. You will pay a heavy price. The technique is when somebody praises you, don't hold it. Don't practice holding. Let it go. Let it go. So when the criticism will come, jab ninda aayegi, kyunki aapko hold karne ki aadat nahi hai. आप होल्ड करने का अभ्यास नहीं कर रहे तो निंदा भी आप होल्ड नहीं करोगे क्योंकि वी आर द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ हैबिट्स सो व्हाट एर इफ आई एम नॉट प्रैक्टिसिंग द होल्डिंग पार्ट एंड आई बिकम पोरस एंड लेट इट गो देन आई एम स्टेबल देन आई एम स्टेबल एंड भगवत गीता लॉर्ड कृष्णा से इन हिज ओन वर्ड इन चैप्टर ट्वेल्व कि वो लोग मुझे सबसे प्रिय हैं जो स्थित प्रज्ञ है जो मूव नहीं होते इमोशनली स्टेबल है वो मुझे बड़े प्रिय है प्रिय का मतलब दे आर फुल ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी क्योंकि जब आप किसी की बात से डिस्टर्ब नहीं होते तो सेकेंड पार्ट ये है तो आप भी किसी को एक्साइट नहीं करोगे इट इज ए टू वे ट्रेवलिंग इट इज नॉट ए वन वे So if you don't want to disturb yourself, don't disturb others. Because what goes around comes around. So don't do whatever. Okay. So whatever you do, it comes back to you. So don't disturb others. Appreciate people. महात्मा सेंट गिफ्टेड सोल दे कैन कम एंड गिव प्रवचन But you have to do yourself. वो तो प्रवचन करके चले जाएंगे लेकिन इफ आई डोंट डू एनीथिंग वो दीपक तले अंधेरा है लोग बीस बीस साल से गुरुओं के पैरों के नीचे बैठे हुए हैं लेकिन दीपक तले अंधेरा है तो प्रैक्टिस नहीं करते उनको यही सेटिस्फाई है कि मैं गुरु जी को पानी पिलाता हूँ गुरु जी के पैर छूता हूँ 
आप उसको मानते हो और अपना कंडक्ट जो है उसके साथ आपने रीलाइन किया हुआ है तो धर्मराज युधिष्ठर का जो कैरेक्टर है वो इस थॉट के थ्रू डेवलप होगा यू विल बी सेल्फलेस यू विल बी सेल्फलेस एंड दैट इज द मेन इंग्रेडिएंट ऑन द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ धर्मराज युधिष्ठर अर्जुन अर्जुन दिस इज आई एम टॉकिंग वेन वेन यू बिलीव दैट लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज हेयर एंड यू आर लिस्निंग टू हेम अर्जुन अर्जुन मीन्स फोकस्ड माइंड जिन जिन के माइंड फोकस हैं वो अर्जुन है वो जब तीर चलाते हैं तो वो तीर निशाने पर लगता है तीर निशाने का मतलब जो अब जो भी आपने धारण किया है वो आपको मिलेगा वो आपको महाभारत में वो सीन भी दिखाते हैं जब वो स्वयंवर में उसने तीर मारना होता है मत, मत, वो एवरी चीज मूविंग मच्छी भी घूम रही है वो चक्कर भी घूम रहा है वो पानी भी चल रहा है वो उसको तरफ उसने देखना भी नहीं है देखना भी नीचे है and he shooting from here on the imaginary world lekin wo jo dikhate hain uska matlab hai focus to mind focus to mind when you develop this art of focus mind arjuna is working in you the character of arjuna is working in you you are very focused whatever you will look at it you will get it when you are focused to mind एंड फोकस्ड माइंड का लिटमस टेस्ट क्या है यू आर लिविंग इन प्रेजेंट पीपल हु आर हुप दिस आर्ट एंड मेक इट परफेक्ट टू लिव इन प्रेजेंट दियर माइंड इज फोकस्ड जैसे अभी भी आई गिव दिस एग्जाम्पल यू आर लिजनिंग टू मी राइट फिजिकली आप मुझे देख रहे हो मेंटली आप यहां हो कि नहीं वो आपको यू मे बी थिंकिंग आप ये कदम क्यों नहीं करते आप कभी हो गया या वट इज दिस सब्जेक्ट अगर आप ये सोच रहे हो तो यू आर नॉट इन दी प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट का मतलब जो हो रहा है मोमेंट में उस के साथ में जुड़ा हुआ हूँ कि नहीं जुड़ा हुआ वो अर्जुन की क्वालिटी है क्वालिटी ऑफ अर्जुन वेन एवर द फोकस्ड माइंड कम द कैरेक्टर ऑफ अर्जुन इज देयर यू आर एक्टिंग लाइक ए You will not miss the point. So who has to do that? Who has to ignite that energy, which is Arjuna, which is the focused mind? Me, me, me. आप वो अपने करेंगे, सब वो आप अपना करेंगे. लेकिन भगवत गीता गिव यू फैसिलिटेट दिस अवेयरनेस कि ऐसा हो सकता है अगर किया जाए. या जाए तो ऐसा हो सकता है सो फोकस्ड माइंड द नेम इज अर्जुन एन अदर करेक्टर विच इज वेरी फिनल दिस इज करेक्टर भीषम पतामा जो कह दिया सो कह दिया राइट और रॉन्ग स्टिक टू इट एक तो आजकल लोग जो है कहते हैं इफ यू स्टडी महाभारत इन मॉडर्न टाइम आपको सब गलत लगेगा क्योंकि तो लोग मुकर जाते हैं आप आपने मुझे मैंने आपको कुछ कहा मैं फिर कह देता मैंने कहा ही नहीं लोगों ने हंड्रेड पेज के कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लिखे हुए हैं फिर भी मुकर जाते हैं डेट इज वाई रिपोर्ट करते हैं साइन किए होते हैं मुकर जाते हैं नहीं? ऐसा नहीं था महाभारत के टाइम में आपने भी देखा है आपके डैडी या हमारे डैडी या आपके वो जो कहते थे उन दिनों में दैट मीन समथिंग आपका एक छोटी सी लड़की होती मेरा एक छोटा सा लड़का है मैं पचास साल पहले की बात कर रहा हूँ आप 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 और हम बड़े अच्छे फ्रेंड हैं आपने कहा कि ये लड़की बड़ी हो गई तो इसकी शादी आपके लड़के से हो जाएगी और होती थी अब आप कितने भी कर लो पक्के अरेंजमेंट वो कल वो मुकर जाएंगे 
when you are able, capable, share with the society. That is how the society it works. Universe works. Dharti me, abhi spring aayegi. Ham nursery me dharti. Ek bead dalo tomato ko. To dharti maan rahe. Us plant pe saw tomato ko laga de. This is called community service. आपने तो एक डाला है, वो हंड्रेड क्या दे होगे? हम जो करते हैं उल्टा, हम हंड्रेड लेकर उसको एक बना के आपने रख लिया, and then we suffer. So that is the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. Then you have the capability, ability, resources, strength, moral courage, but you have to do it. On a daily basis, because we are the product of our habits. Habits. ये नहीं कि आज कर लिए, कल कर लिए। अगर आप exercise करते हो, it should be daily, at a fixed time. भगवत गीता में एक divine variety है, नित्य युक्ता उपास्ते। Same time, same day. Repetitively, for a longer period of time. जिसको अभ्यास योग कहते हैं। अभ्यास Practice is a yoga. Practice is a yoga. You got to understand that. Practice is a yoga. And it should be repetitively for a longer period of time. Us abhya yoga through whatever you are doing, you are the master now. Ah, swimming ki classes leke dek lo. Two years you swim. Water is your friend now. Water will take you in its lap. जॉगिंग करो आपकी टांगी को पता है आप वहाँ से चल के आओ लोग कहेंगे कि नहीं ये 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 इस बात को डिफरेंटली मेरे को योगा रिफ्लेक्स आपके अगर भगवत गीता के आप सीरियस स्टूडेंट हो दी ग्लो विल कम ऑन योर फेस यू डोंट हैव टू टेल एनीबॉडी व्हेन यू विल टॉक पीपल विल अंडरस्टैंड कहीं व्हाट इज I will now yeah. conclude that we discussed today the character of Bhishma Patama, the character of Arjuna, focused mind. Bhishma Patama means whatever, if you are the head of the household, become a leader with compassion, give the guide, but don't create the ownership. You are not the owner of your home. You are a trustee. Create the trusteeship. Give the best. Because trustee is being the term. He does not own anything. He is doing something from somebody. In ownership, where you become the owner, then you are playing with your emotions. So treat life as a trusteeship. Lord Krishna gave us this beautiful body. It is a lease from Lord Krishna. You have to return it. Just a car of misuse abuse karo to dealer nahi lega. If I misuse and abuse my emotional and physical body, I am stuck with it. Lord Krishna will not accept it because I broke the lease. So to respect and honor the lease, watch your time. Stay healthy. Think differently. Empathetic. Selflessness. Develop that art. हम कहते हैं तो हैं आरती रोज करते हैं और आरती का जो कंक्लुजन हम कहते हैं सर्वे भवंतु सुविन। We mean nothing. हमें तो प्रोसेस का नहीं पता प्रोसेस रहता कौन है। हम कहते हैं सर्वे भवंतु सुविन। ऐसा नहीं होता। This is hypocrisy. इससे कोई स्पिरिचुअल डेवलपमेंट नहीं होती। तो नेक्स्ट टाइम वेन वी मीट, विल मीट आफ्टर टू वीक्स, वी विल कंटिन्यू द अदर कैरेक्टर्स। सो स्टे विद इस फोकस माइंड आजुना, राइट? एंड आई गिव यू द एग्जांपल ऑफ दुर्योधना, द नेगेटिव एनर्जी। स्टे वे फ्रॉम दैट। विजन बतामा, बिकम द लीडर the best to your family, to your friends, to the society. 
जय श्री कृष्ण